Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. New to family photography, or maybe you've been doing it a while, but your workflow seems to be choppy and you just can't be efficient in the whole process. Well, we're here to explain what we do from start to finish in the most efficient and effective way that we have found. And make sure to stick around until the end because we have created something just for you. We promise to have you entering your next family session in a smooth, orderly process from start to finish. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. So we're gonna talk about what and take you through the entire process from start to finish. So the first thing that obviously happens is somebody contacts you to do a session. So they inquire about a family session is what we're talking about today. And so once they inquire about a family session, we direct them if they haven't gone to our website, we direct them to our website to fill out the family photo session form. So once they fill out the form, then we send them a detailed email back with the form included, which we'll get to in a little bit. But in this email, we have pre-selected dates that are going to work for us. We have a huge spreadsheet of all of the dates that will work for us. We send them those dates that were available for family sessions and times for them to choose from. And then we also explain that uh, they need to pay 50% in order to claim their spot for that session. All right, so the form that Emily was just talking about that is sent in the email includes the following. So if you need to pause the video to write these things down or screenshot it, feel free to do that. So the first thing that the form includes is obviously the family's name, their cell phone number, so if we need to contact them last minute for a change of location or cancellation or anything like that, the choice that they would like as far as package goes. So we offer a shorter and a little bit of a longer session when it comes to families, but we do like to keep it as simple as possible when designing packages. Um, the names of all of the people being photographed. We love this question because when we show up to the session, we like to know everybody's names. We think that that's so important. And then of course, the age of the little ones. So we like to know the difference between is Jenny a 16 year old girl or is she a two year old girl? Because there's a huge difference in photographing a 16 year old and a two year old. We also like to ask them some must have photo combinations. So do they want photos of the family and just the kids? Or maybe they want one of the mom and the girls or just the brother with the one sister or whatever it might be. They sometimes have special requests. Um, we ask them for location ideas. However, we also recommend location ideas. So if they are unsure of where to do um, a photo shoot of them, then we recommend ideas as well. We also include what they, we ask them what they plan to do with their photos. So are they gonna hang up their photos on the wall? Are they gonna maybe order an album? Maybe they're using it just for Christmas cards. Um, and then we also offer a little blank spot at the end of the form, just asking if they have any other questions for us. So now that we've received the form and they've selected a date, we are able to send them their contract and their invoice. And we use a software called Dubsado to do this. You wouldn't have to use this. You could use something else, but we just like that. It works smoothly for us, so we use that. All right, the next step then is to email our clients a digital copy of what we call our E Squared Style Guide for Families. So this style guide just includes information on color combinations, maybe location choices, what to do before the session, how to pick out your outfits, what to do with the fussy kid, all of those different scenarios that come into play with family. So just kind of prepping our families for the session. Now this is not something that we did right away. This is something that we've developed over time. So you could be sending maybe just a little tiny email with a couple suggestions. That would be a start. And then from there, you could build something like a style guide if you wanted to. We also, along with the style guide, include a print pricing guide for our families. So they can start looking that over if they are interested in purchasing some prints after their session. So then a few days out, we send them an email just confirming the date and time where we're going to meet, the location we're meeting, and then just reminding them, hey, if you have little kids, snacks are really good, little toys that will make them happy are really good, um, anything like that, props that they wanna have, just reminding them of that, and then just saying, hey, do you have any questions about your outfits? Because we're happy to help you with that. 
All right, then just one week before their session, we collect their final payment, which is the second half of their original payment. And then it's the session day. And here we have a list of all of the things that we always bring to every session that we do just to make things flow smoother. And we have this for in a checklist on our phone, so we make sure we always have it um, when the time comes. So if you take a look here, we always bring a stepladder for those taller families or just because shooting up can be shooting up higher can be flattering for some individuals. Changing tent we bring if the family is going to be changing their outfits. Obviously we bring our cameras. We bring a reflector. We bring uh, blankets to um, have the family sit on. We bring a full length mirror so mom or young girls can look in the mirror and make sure their hair and their makeup looks good and their earrings, all of that kind of stuff. We bring a small gift to all of our sessions. And then we always try to bring a new pose idea to try for each session. And then our cell phones, just in case we need to contact anybody. Take a chance and comment below right now. What is something or one trick that you have when working with really young children at a family session? We would like to know. All right, so then after the session, we go home right away or we try to do it the same night because everybody is so excited. So we call through all of our photos pick our absolute favorites, and then we edit our absolute favorites for some sneak peeks we throw out on social media. The day after their session, we always send a little thank you saying how much fun we had at their session, and then we let them know when they are going to be getting their images. And when we talk about image delivery to our clients, we always under promise and over deliver, meaning we always tell them that it's going to be maybe two to three weeks, but we get it to them sooner than we tell them always. Okay, and then once we let them know, we finish editing all of the photos and we upload them to their gallery. We use something called shoot proof, for, shoot proof for this. There's lots of different places that you could use, but this is what we use. After we've uploaded all of the photos to their gallery, we pick our, pick our absolute favorite photos and then we do a little blog post about the family where we post our favorite photos of them and then just a little tidbit about the session and how much we really like working with the family. And we try to personalize it as much as possible. And then it's time for them to view their gallery. And there's lots of ways you can do this. You can email them their gallery and they can see their images like that. Or you can meet them in person and have a gallery viewing party. So whatever works best for you. Now that you know our family workflow from start to finish, we have something just for you. In the description below, you'll find a free posing and planning guide for families. This will help you feel confident and to plan out your next family session in an organized way. And make sure to follow along on our Instagram page at e squared photography school or at e squared dot photography for more inspiration on family. Don't forget to download your free guide below. It's all about posing families and planning your family session. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. Make sure to check out future videos for more inspiration about photography and we will see you next, next time. time.